That's five. Greetings of salutations. I am the Raven and Fruitcake, Fruitcake, Fruitcake. Fruitcake, 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 Fruitcake. JK Lantern. Fruitcake. Fruitcake, Fruitcake, Fruitcake. Cake. Stop with just HLC. Pineapple upside down cake. Ooh. What is this? <laughs> Some kind of tornado? Look at the summer max and what should be the end of it? Dentistry? A patron saint of Bigfoots? Looks like a before and after shot. So yes, these are uh, four items we need in order to uh, solve the mystery of the Bigfoots. Uh, um... How the hell do we get out? Yeah. I, I I know one way leads to hot tub and one way leads to out, and we need both of those directions. Eat out. <clears throat> there we go. There we are. Also, would that be the blue Bigfoot man group? The blue yeti. The blue yeti band. What's the blue man group a thing when... Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> blue man group. Let's see here. Yeah, they would have been a thing, because they were founded in 1987. Damn, that's the year before I was born. It's the year I was born. Yep. 1987. Mm -hmm. I was six. <laughs> <laughs> Stop making me feel old. <laughs> I mean, my sister would have been five. Uh, Courage would, would have been, been like two. two. <laughs> Take a leg, Max. I got two of them, Sam. It's better if I had Yoko calling me old man a couple week a week or two ago. Oh boy, we're gonna hear more questions. Could you ban this? Sure. Just let me finish this one. Avatar, the last screw bender. That sounds like a not suited for work version. Let's see it. Well. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? Great. Excellent. Oh boy, we got a wine opener, Sam. <sighs> Excuse me. You're fine. But yes, we, we do have a wine opener. <laughs> oh boy, we're gonna get cropped. <laughs> oh god, I, I remember on... A, I don't even remember which mission trip that was. Um <laughs> But, like, uh, one of the guys I was with on that trip, uh, like, his catchphrase was, Oh, yeah, we're gonna get cronk! And, like, I tried saying it one time, and I'm like, I should never say that again as long as I live. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, we're gonna get cronk! No. No, that, no, that's not Lambert. There's been a few times I've watched a few things, and this guy's like, No, never again! <laughs> We, we need the cork first before we do the thing. Or did you get the cork already and I just missed it? Uh, yeah, to put it out. Uh, just get, okay. get in position. Okay. Hey, Sam, look. I'm the white rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. One pill makes you larger. I am not Gracie Slick. That seems to get the cork <laughs> off. Shall we raise a toast to nuclear disarmament? With this poison? Don't be silly. Silly me. We're supposed to use prune juice. That seems to have capped the Not snow globe. Not the juice! <laughs> uh. do, do, do. do you know why you're upside down? No, but hum a few bars and I'll fake it. Ah, uh, Sam. Fake it, you make it. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you can tell us about the snow? Oh, I'm fine. She's having a sale. Oh, 
only that their continued existence threatens my livelihood. Bitchin'. We'll be back. Back, front, it's all the same to me. Are you lost in the woods Can too, lady? The vortex? Step right in. I think we do actually have to use the uh, snow globe here. There we go. Nom 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 nom. We weaken the vortex further. <laughs> wow, the snow globe actually sucked in the pseudo mystical energies of the mystery vortex. I was hoping something like that would happen. I also was hoping we would end up in Michigan. Because that's where the void is. Uh, Michigan, one of the few states I have not been to. <laughs> I think my dad passed through that back when he was still doing his motorcycling days. Awesome. I think the bridge there freaked him out because it's transparent. That would freak me out. Yeah. Space. The final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Its continuing mission to explore brave new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no one has gone before. And to murder Duras multiple times throughout the galaxy. Friggin' Duras. Yep. Star has seen like 10, <laughs> maybe 12 episodes of Next Generation. <laughs> the main thing she has learned from it is friggin' Doros. <laughs> okay, Sam. He's here. We're here. Let's go. Wait. Go where? Back to the carnival so we can get paid, you big lummox. I may be slow, but I am not stupid. I am staying right here. Is that what the nice. chief's well, wife said? Maybe we should wait a while before returning Bruno to his well-meaning yet horribly twisted owners. Why? Because I have a sick, gnarled premonition that something important is going to happen to the Bigfoots. And it would be nice if Bruno were here to see it before we slapped him back in a block of ice. <laughs> off, Sam. We've decided to let you roam free until the end of the convention. Gee, thanks. Is there anything I can do for you in return? So what do you think about all this? I'm just happy to be here, Sam. Happy to be at room temperature, and happy to be free at last. Born free, as free <laughs> as, as the, the wind blows. blows. Max. <laughs> what? What were you saying, Bruno? Hmm. I lost my thought. Darn. <laughs> it's like fruitcake. How'd you and Trixie meet, anyway? We didn't really meet until she thawed me out. But like fruitcake. Ever since that first night, she snuck into the freak tent, and sang me to sleep with a Scrantonese lullaby. <laughs> and you want to put him back in a block of ice? Yeah! So, I give up. Be seeing you. Not if I see you first. Tip. Okay, which way is Hot Tub? I would assume it would be the same way Bruno is. Or not. I could be mistaken. You want Hot? Are you as confused as I am? More so. It's my state of being, Sam. Well, that's all. Go, go around the pillars to the right. So I think it's might be like maybe you have to click on the grass area further up. Yeah. Come, come on. Look at me. Uh, come on, come on. This feels eerily similar, like to the other point clicks I've played. Where is the damn exit? <laughs> I 
And while we're trying to figure out the age, she said, oh, look, there's Walt, Walt, Walt Wilco, just trying to figure it. Come on! Pausing. What that was? Unpausing. That's middle of the slide. Come on, work. Yeah, that's that. That's about where the hot spot is. There we go. Uh, hi, hi, Bigfoot Bill Clinton. Talk. Would that then make his wife Hillary Clinton, though? Yep. Can you uh. spare a second? Not really. But since you're saving my species from extinction, what the heck? What do you make of the first totem pole? As you know, this is a problem that I've been working on for many years. Research strongly suggests this totem pole to be representative of the whirlwind nature of us Bigfoots. Wild and always moving. What's your take well, on the second totem pole? I'm glad like you a fruitcake. Asked. You see, like I believe that it fruitcake. represents the sharp edge of ancient history. The fantastic staying power of the Yeti people over the millennia. How does the third pole figure into the scheme of things? Let me be very clear. That pole constitutes the harmony from the coexistence of two similar beings. A harmony that springs from mutual respect and understanding. What does the fourth totem pole represent? I'm asked that very question all the time. My answer, rapid growth. Yeah, you're horribly I'll wrong. Be back. I'll be here. So we need four items that we conveniently have in our inventory. Hmm. I think I figured out one of the totem poles. Let me see. Ooh. Fancy. Hey, we spent a lot of time getting that. Why did you break it? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I just had the realization that with all these uh, yetis in a hot tub, it's gonna have a lot of wet dog smell in here. Had nothing to do with it. Not to mention the amount of stray hair that's gonna be left over. If yeah, the, the pool cleaners are gonna have a hard time. Hey, Chiefy Poo, I think I figured out one of those baffling totem poles. Hey, Chiefy Poo. Chiefy Poo. A genuine dinosaur tooth. Yeah. I figured it might be something like that. Did he say genuine? Yes. Why? I believe we've deduced the secret of one of your totem poles. Hit me. Smack. With pleasure, sir. <laughs> He's weirdly excited about the John Muir head. Big fan. Maybe he met him in the past. The combination of man and nature in Vanity. Is it soup yet? Soup. Ah, uh, for the last item. Hey, Mr. Chief, we found something that might tie into your totem poles. Yeah, w what is it? That is a lot of hair tonic. Hmm. Hair grows. And yet tonic. it's not enough. Very resourceful. We just like stealing pillows. Well, <laughs> that should do it, right? Nothing's happening, Sam. What's the story, Pops? Oh, I don't know. I'm sure you got the ingredients right, but. Oh, of course. How silly of me. What? 
We need a troll hair. For the spell to work, we need a living Bigfoot sacrifice. It'd be a shame to lose one of these furry fellas, don't you think? Wait, I've got <clears> an idea, and it doesn't require high explosives. Wait they here. come back with an idea that does. While he's gone, <laughs> I'll go see if any of the Bigfoots wants to off themselves for the greater good. Nah. I mean, I could. I have like two days from retirement. In you go. Also, that one Bigfoot kind of looks like Chewbacca. This is fine. Well. So that's how the Redwood Forest came about. Have a damn at once. Well, there goes Seattle. Oh, hey, we were there. Well, that was one heck of an impressive display. And actually highly destructive to boot. Goodbye, I approve. Max. I'm not sure how I could ever thank you, so I guess I won't. Charming. Sure. Will you and Trixie be heading back into the forest to live an idyllic nature-oriented existence together? Hell no. We're going to Vegas to get hitched. <laughs> it hasn't been trashed by all this crazy Redwood nonsense. We want to be in a place where we can sort of blend in. Live our lives. Maybe even raise a family. Ew. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> Goodbye, you nutsy, primitive man-beast, you. You boys should be proud of what you've helped us achieve here today. You mean the wholesale destruction of the symbols of modern civilization in the western United States? You Hell bet yeah. we are. Do we win a prize? Well, oh, why not? This medallion has been a part of my family for untold generations. Wear it in good health. Thanks, Chief. Max loves cheap sentiment. Mmm! Boiled covered chocolatey goodness! <laughs> What's wrong, Sam? I don't think the old... has anything in that bag for me. How old is well, that chocolate? I could give you my ritual <laughs> headdress that I bought at Snucky's last week. I appreciate the gesture, but I've already got a hat. Well, that's fine, too. Farewell, Sam and Max. Remember, though the night be dark, the dawn yet shall awaken and annoy you. Accurate. Have a nice day. Mm -hmm. Maybe. I'll miss that old rascal. I'll miss the way he smelled like a bag full of damp hamster shavings. Just like Grandpa. Can we stick hey, him in the microwave? We forgot to get paid. <laughs> Don't worry, little <laughs> I was just pressing that from Star. <laughs> With those idiots on the case, we'll probably never see Bruno again. Oh, lighten up, Burl. Hey, they're back. Did you find Bruno? Of course. Bruno! <laughs> How can we ever repay you? The blank looks on your faces are the only reward we need. That and a big fat check. Would you settle for 3,000 skee-ball tickets? Close Hell enough. yeah. Let's go, Max. I'm great, ski ball, Max. You know, Sam. Max, I, I forgot who I was. Thinking that we foolishly tampered with the fragile inner mechanisms of this little spaceship we call Earth. Gosh, Sam, if a few hundred years of civilization have to be total just to ensure that a bunch of smelly quasi-human creatures have a safe haven for their disgusting lifestyles, then so be it. Fat. You crack me you up, crack little me buddy. up, little buddy. Right back at you, Sam. Burl, did Bruno always have four arms? <laughs> I see a Bubsy. I see an R2-D2. I see a tentacle. Guidless. Guidless. Bubsy. Die, Bubsy. You don't belong in this world. And yes. Oh, Bill Farmer with Sam. 
This has been so much hit the boat. Not as elaborate as some other adventure games out there, but still charming, hilarious, um... Messed up. Me messed up. Of the Sam and Max games, this is probably the best one in terms of gameplay. Um, the Telltale ones just don't gel with me as much. That said, there are uh, certainly funny bits in those games as well. Uh, Blemo. Boom. Keeping it down because it's loud in my ears. <laughs> that is fair. <clears throat> yeah, Steve Purcell is the creator of Salmon Max. Um, I... Technically, his brother was, but like, basically, his children, his brother would draw these these two cartoon animals, and then Steve Purcell would, like, add off-color remarks from them to the drawings, and finally his brother was like, these are yours now. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, every, every project that involves Sam and Max, Steve Purcell is involved with. So there is a certain sense of continuity between the show, the games, the comics, whatever. Yeah. Even though they are alternate canons, they're still... They still feel like they would fit together. Mm -hmm. Once again, I'm... I can't remember if I mentioned this in one of the videos or if I mentioned it in between videos, but, um... One of the things that confuses me about the Telltale games... Why did they double down on the Mole Men? The Mole Men show up so much in those games when it was kind of just like a... Eh, random thing here. Yeah. And they became really important in the Devil's Toy Box. Yeah. <laughs> we could stop now, but we're not Ooh. going to. No, really. And Mitchley, I have no plans to do the, the Telltale of some Max games. Guys, of yeah. Shivostalum. He probably done them a lot better than I can anyway. Well, singly anyway. So go check him out. Mm hmm It's a lot more structured and less chaotic than it involves the land stars. <laughs> 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 but that would depend. You want chaos because you want more streamlined. <laughs> Eva's good, Eva's good. Seriously, I don't remember how long this credit sequence goes. Same. Yeah, I think it's time to pull the plug. So, yes, this has been me, the Raven. That's been JK Lantern. That's been Star Princess. Appearing for two episodes was Yoko, who has been questioning the how bad, how <laughs> these questionable nature of these characters. Rightfully so. Like fruitcake. Like fruitcake. Like fruit. <laughs> so, until we're back with something else. Peace out, people. Be good. Have fun, however you can, and for God's sake, wash your hands. Yes, wash your hands. And not because the... My hands smell like fruitcake, Sam. <laughs> you crack me up, little buddy. I beg at you, Sam. Bye, folks. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>